good morning children how are you already we have completed two topics in the chapter of climate of india in the first video we discussed about the factors affecting the climate in the second video we discuss about the seasons of india now we are going to discuss about the global warming and climate change and agw then the impact the impact of climate change on india so today let us discuss this topics before going to that we should know something about the formation of earth in the earlier classes we studied the how the earth was formed before the formation of earth as a planet it took several cycles of heating and cooling this heating and cooling process by the heating and cooling process it became as a earth through this process so many gases are released such as oxygen carbon dioxide nitrogen ozone etc so these are covered these are surrounded the earth surface as a thick layer then we call it as the atmosphere right as atmosphere these are protecting these layer of the gases is protecting us like an umbrella like an umbrella how they are protecting the solar radiation is coming towards the earth some harmful ultraviolet rays are coming from the sun so the ozone layer in this atmospheric layer obstructs the ultraviolet rays and it is protecting us the main thing is the gases are very useful to various processes for example you take oxygen to survive all the living things on the earth surface oxygen is required the nitrogen nitrogen is very important for the plants and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is used in the photosynthesis process for making of food in the plants so ozone is protecting from the ultraviolet rays like this the all the gases are protecting the living things on the earth surface next greenhouse effect what is greenhouse effect the gases of atmosphere are warming up warming up the atmospheric conditions on the earth surface so the keeping us warm is very important without warm temperature there are no living things to survive so warming is very important to keep us warming these gases are helping to us when the radiation is taken from the sun the total amount of solar energy is reflected backward but what happens if the 100% of the solar energy is backed up there is no any at least warm up temperature on the earth surface it leads to the very cold condition it goes down minus degree centigrade then what happen there will be no any living thing so these gases are keeping us warm just like you know the greenhouses some farmers are using greenhouses 
for growing the vegetables in all the seasons. What is greenhouse? It is a house with the glass. This house is made of glass. This house is allowing the house is allowing the solar energy. But it is not allowing to go back this energy. Somewhat energy is retained in the house to protect the plants, vegetable plants in that house. So we are growing the vegetables in all seasons in this process. In the same way, we require somewhat temperature to survive. So these greenhouse gases and the carbon dioxide and methane, ozone, etc. are the greenhouse gases helping the human beings and living all the living things on the earth's surface to keep warm position. This is the greenhouse effect. Okay, these greenhouse gases are important for survival of all the living things. But sometimes it leads to the global warming. So, what is greenhouse effect? The atmosphere traps lot of solar energy by preventing it from a total escaping back to space is called greenhouse effect. What is global warming? Increasing of temperature on the earth surface due to the poisonous gases is called global warming. Here 90% above 90% of the global warming is caused by the human beings, human activities. Before going to that, in the earlier period, the earlier cycles of cooling and heating process took place over a long period of time. In this long period of time, it allows the living things to adopt the changes. But now we are unable to adopt that changes because since the industrial revolution, these, this global warming is much more rapidly increasing. So within the short period and the rapid increase of temperature, rapid increase of global warming, the living things unable to adopt the changes. It leads to many effects, evil effects. Recently, the scientists discovered large volume of methane under the frozen tundra regions in the northern latitudes, northern Russia, etc. The methane is the more powerful gas than the carbon dioxide. It is very harmful. As the temperature increases, the ice melts much. It leads to extra melting of ice and that leads to extra global warming. It is a chain process. It is in chain process. As the temperature is increased, it leads to more ice melting. This more ice melting helps to the methane gas. The methane gas is escaped into the atmosphere. When the methane gas is escaped to the atmosphere, the temperatures are increased due to the increase in temperature on the earth's surface then it leads to melting of ice again it leads to the escaping of 
methane more. This is the Chang process. AZW, anthropogenic global warming. Anthropogenic means caused by the humans. So now the new trend of global warming is called anthropogenic global warming because the human activities are contributing to global warming much. Here, in many ways, human beings are using the nature excessively and they are homing to the climate. For example, since the 19th century, the global warming is the global warming has been increasing rapidly and afforestation is closed. Deforestation took place. Deforestation is going on. Third one, new methods of warming. New methods of warming using the fertilizers or besides other things. An overuse of natural resources, excessive mining and overpopulation. This overpopulation leads to the overuse of natural resources. These type of activities, by these types of activities, human beings are contributing to the global warming. For example, deforestation. Forests are God's gift. It has a green cover on the earth's surface. This protects, it receives the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and the received carbon dioxide changed as oxygen. This oxygen is used for the living things. When we cut down the trees in the forest areas or in other areas, it leads to the reduction in the green coverage on the earth's surface. Automatically, it leads to the soil erosion. Soil erosion leads to the deforestation. And we are not in a position to planting trees without this fertile soil. AZW is disrupting the system of redistribution of heat in the world. What is redistribution of heat? Atmosphere and ocean circulations redistributing the heat over the world. These disruption in two types. Short term effects, long term effects. It means weather effects and climate effect effects. So, what steps to be taken for reducing the global warming? The major cause for the global warming is the burning of fossil fuels. So, so we must to reduce the burning of fossil fuels. Instead of that, we use solar energy or other alternatives. And we use the public transport system. When we use more vehicles, the chlorocarbons are released much. So we use the public transport system. Then try to reduce the using of refrigerators and air conditions. They are also producers of greenhouse gases. Next. Afforestation, it is very, very important thing. Plant the trees. 
very much to increase the afforestation and to develop the green cover. The global warming and climate change it is not local crisis, it is a global crisis. So all the countries in the world should participate to reduce these issues. To prevent this issue, one international organization is established, that is IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. It held so many meetings earlier, but are all in the vein, useless. But finally, in the 2015 Paris Summit, the countries came to an agreement. In this agreement, they agreed and 195 countries signed on that agreement. The agreement is to reduce the, to limit the rising temperature below 2 degrees centigrade over an industrial and industrialization period. In IPCC 2015 summit, the countries came to an agreement to reduce the greenhouse gases, to limit the increase below 2 degrees centigrade over the pre-industrialization level. There are some disagreements between the developed countries and developing countries. The developed countries, western countries, which countries developed industrially and in all sectors, they are called developed countries. These western developed countries wanted to cut down the burning fossil fuels in developing countries. But the developing countries argued that the developed countries already used the fossil fuels for their economic development and they developed. But we are in the process of developing. If we stop the burning of these fossil fuels, it will be affected on their economical development. So finally, they requested the developed countries to participate for the fair participation and to help in the recovering of alternative methods. Impact of climate change on India. There are three types of effects on India. First is the effect on the coastal areas. Second, the effect on rainfall. Third, the effect on Himalayan glaciers. First, to discuss about the effect on coastal areas. When the average temperature 2 degrees centigrade increases what will be happen of course a 2 degree rise 2 degree centigrade is very small but it affects much i is the rise in 2 degree centigrade temperature leads to the rise in 1 meter sea level over the oceans. It affects the coastal areas. It affects the coastal areas. Already we have the experience of Kolkata. In 2009, at the time of Isla Cyclone, the Kolkata Metropolitan Development Authority KMDA vacated the 
poor people shelters over the coastal area more than 200 families were affected they became homeless 700 people they lost their livelihood they lost homes and other other things by police force the government shifted the people to protect them from the cyclones and then the next effect is on rainfall due to the climatic changes the pattern of rainfall will be changed the normal rainfall pattern is changed some places they get excess rainfall and the other very less rainfall than the normal rainfall the excess rainfall leads to the floods and the less rainfall leads to the droughts like this the climate change is affecting the rainfall sometimes it leads to the acid rainfalls also you know the effects of acid rainfalls very well then we go to the third effect third effect is on the himalayan glaciers when the ice the average temperature increases the himalayan glaciers starts to melt as the temperature increased more the glaciers melts more and more automatically the molten ice became the converted into water the third effect is on the himalayan glaciers the rapid melting of himalayan glaciers would affect the livelihood of fisher folk the fishermen in the coastal areas and other areas will be affected more they lost their livelihood and also when the melting of ice started it leads to the rise in the sea level when the rise ice the rise in the sea level increases it leads to the floods it is one effect okay the snowfall is as the global temperature is increased the snowfall is also decreased due to the decrease of snowfall it will not produce the glaciers and these glaciers would not give the water to the rivers so the river water the water in the rivers will be decreased in the future the perennial rivers would be disappeared it will affect the agriculture system and in the first phase it will affect it gives floods and in the second phase it gives droughts the agriculture pattern will be disturbed and the food habits also change this melting of ice leads to the temperatures changes over the oceans and due to this change in the temperatures of oceanic water the oceanic currents pattern is disturbed 
when we get the disturbance in the process of oceanic currents the climate will be changed enormously it leads to the floods and in some places droughts and more effect on the fisher folk students finally we have completed the chapter climate of india in the three videos and to get the next video lessons you subscribe compulsory and please like and if you have any doubts and write in the comments